Well, hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you again today with yet another video, yet again today on another odd day, but I got a really nice uh, gift here from a really great friend of the vinyl community, a really great friend to all of us, and I just wanted to share what he sent me. But before we get started with that, let's see the intro. So yeah, of course, I'm talking about Robert P. Uh, what a great friend to the vinyl community. And he sent me another beautiful little letter here uh, talking about uh, he'd just seen one of my recent videos where I talked about how I've recently acquired <laughs> to add into my singles collection here, my singles collection box, a copy of, um, let's see if we can get it out here. There we go. As I'm getting the backing sheet out, the now and then, on the black vinyl that I've got to add it in there um, that I heard a lot of people were doing and I thought that was a good idea so I wanted to add a black vinyl version of that in there along with my colored vinyl versions so I had made that video a couple weeks ago and he says you know I got something that really uh, struck me on that that you might like and he sent me these beautiful sleeves I think I'll start with this one here because uh, this one is I think the sleeve everybody wanted now and then to be um, this little clock had such a story with the Harrisons and that and and how much of a you know significance it made uh, when they called Olivia to um, kind of get her okay for going through with now and then and that she was looking right at the clock when they were talking to her that she had just recently pulled it out and it you know says that now and then on it and I mean what a cool story that is on that and this would have been such a better cover than what we got that you know that are you know graphic design stuff basically and then this is what they did for the backing on it which i think was really cool too uh the old i, I that makes sense because we were doing the new thing and then what it would have been back then so that that would have been the the uk uh seven inch for love me do what it would have looked like so that's really cool and he wanted to send that to me uh just seeing that video and then there was another version of it too which i think is a pretty good version too uh, with the now and then cassette and yes the now and then the cassette that the single was on looked like this but I'm thinking this is pretty similar to the cassette that they used that Lennon had the now and then demo on that they used and then of course his kind of artwork there with that Lennon's artwork uh, so another really good uh, fantasy single cover on that and then they did the same back on that um, so these were really cool thank you very much Robert P I really love these these are great I, I love having them in my collection I'm going to find a, somehow to like kind of post these up somewhere, you know, a little frame for me that. So not to be outdone though, he sent me something else too. And this was really kind of cool too. Uh, it's another kind of um, alternate version of the trunk cover. Uh, really kind of cool look to it here. And really nice jacket. This is a friend of his does these up and does a great job. He did these ones too. Uh, so thank you. I know he's also a viewer too. So thank you very much for, you know, sending these to Robert to send on to me. And uh, thank you, Robert, for sending these on to me. So this is so cool, though. And I'm so excited to, to share this and just show what, what he sent my way here on this. Just from seeing one of the videos I made. And, you know, there's the back on it here. I'll show you the spine. Of course, this is totally a fantasy thing. This is not, you know, a, a official or anything. Uh, but, you know, very cool to see kind of those what ifs on that. And this one, actually, uh, he sent me some of these before. And they've had a record in them, and they're sealed. But, you know, the record isn't uh, now and then, or yesterday and today. I'm still on on now and then here. Uh, but this one actually is, and it's uh, supposed to be a marble. I can see it a little on this. Uh, so a black and white marble. And I know Robert P. said he wasn't all that impressed with it. It, it, it kind of looks like a dirty record, to tell you the truth. But it reminds me of the, uh, the Crooked Boy EP that came out for Record Store Day. Uh, with Ringo just recently in the U.S. here we had that marble black and white marble version of that and it reminds me of that in the U.S. the U.S. pressings didn't turn out very great on that this is about how they look uh just like a dirty record <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny now the the European pressings looked a lot better uh I've been quite impressed with what I've seen on the European pressings on those so uh but yeah anyways that, that was just really kind of cool uh, kind of cool to have an actual record in it this time. Uh, well, not that there isn't an actual record in the other ones he sent me, but it's it's not yesterday and today. So um, it's just more in there to 
kind of give it the weight and everything and make it feel right on that, I suppose. Um, being that it's more for the artwork than it is for uh, the, the music on these type of releases here. So, and it's absolutely beautiful artwork. That friend of his really does a great job. I mean, straight down to the spine and everything there like that. Um, but yeah, just once again, thank you, Robert P for sending this my way. I really appreciate it. Um, that was so cool. I really appreciate everything that's in here. And um, he also sent, I, I forgot this. He sends these usually with these uh, yesterday and today, yesterday and today, uh, butcher cover, trunk cover things, uh, kind of the press release that Capital sent out to the record shops, uh, telling them to, to change it up there, what, what the plan was there. And then it also had the, the dark marble <laughs> uh, slip there too, so they knew what was in there, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was really nicely packaged together there and very excited to get this. And um, once again, thank you to both Robert P and his friend there that, that sent this out. I really appreciate it a lot. And I just wanted to get a video out there to show what, what he sent and what I got there. So thank you, thank you. All right, <laughs> before I get rambling or anything too much more though, I'm gonna get signing out. Uh, before I do that, I once again wanna thank all my subscribers and thanks to your new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And do hit the notification bell so you know when I got new videos coming out. Also, please give the video a like. Um, like I always say, if you've stuck around to this point, you must like it. So please give it a like and do leave a comment. I love having a discussion with everybody. Let me know if you've ever received anything from Mark P. Um, he's such a great, great uh, person to know here in the vinyl community and has been very generous to all of us. Uh, super nice guy, super wonderful person. Thank you so much, Robert P. And just, yeah, let me know if you've received anything from him. And what do you think of it? I, I've really enjoyed everything I've got. It's beautiful stuff. Uh, the stuff he makes, great. The stuff that his friend there makes, awesome too. And I really appreciate them sharing their, their talents with us all. All right. Uh, but before I get rambling too much more, once again, like I said, I am going to get truly signing out. I am Beetle Dustino, signing out.